is a week in my life as a college student at Mizzou. Let's go! On Monday, I only have a Spanish class at 9 a.m., so I check my email and eat a little breakfast before heading over to the language building. In class, we continue talking about subjunctive verbs, which focus on different emotions. This concept is honestly pretty complicated, but thankfully I have a really great professor that takes us through tons of examples. After that, I head to the student center to start on some homework. I typically start out a week by writing out everything I have to do, and while it honestly looks like a lot, this is a pretty average workload for me. Then I move on to my Spanish homework and basically review all the concepts we went over during class. By the time I'm done with that, it's lunchtime. So I head to the shack and grab Mort's, AKA the best burger place on campus. And I also get to meet up with my friend Sabrina who just transferred to Mizzou from a local community college. Once we were done chatting, I headed back and ran into Harland who is our unofficial campus mascot. Literally, running into him made my day, and he's just the absolute sweetest. Back in my apartment, I start doing the required readings for my cross-cultural journalism class. This week, we're learning about homogeny, which is the leadership or dominance by one country or social group over another. Suddenly, I get a text from a zoo telling me to check my email. Because of the snow we're supposed to get Wednesday, they decided to shift to online classes on not only Wednesday, but Thursday as well. While I was honestly super excited to get a bit of a break, I was also bummed because that means that the rock and roll social my sorority was supposed to have is also cancelled. Getting back to my homework though, I started taking notes over the readings for my art history class. For tomorrow's lecture, we're talking about images and how they are impacted by ideology. By the time I've finished that, it's time to get ready for formal chapter. At chapter, we discuss everything our sorority is doing in the upcoming weeks. Formal chapter specifically is every other week, and we, you know, dress up, wear our gorgeous pins, and just reaffirm our sorority's values. So I head to the Alpha Chi Omega house, which is just stunning. I love the cottage vibes and the red door. And before every chapter, I grab dinner with Allison. Tonight, the chefs made pasta con broccoli, which is absolutely amazing, 10 out of 10 would recommend. Then we headed to chapter, and because we didn't have that many things to talk about, it only lasted around an hour. That's pretty good for us, usually we run about two. After that, I grabbed some snacks for movie night with Alex and my big Sarah. We watched Hairspray, and not gonna lie, I totally forgot how good this movie was. But by the time it was over, it was pretty late, so I headed to bed. The next morning, I woke up late, so I skipped breakfast, checked my email, and then headed to my cross-cultural journalism class. The journalism school is past the quad and right next to downtown Columbia, so it's not only pretty, but it's close to a ton of restaurants and other businesses. In class, we discussed the readings about homogeny and started discussing intersectionality, which is understanding how aspects of a person's social and political identities combined to create different kinds of discrimination and privileges. After that, I headed to Memorial Student Union, which is my favorite building on campus. There, I met up with my friend Joey for lunch at Wheatstone Bistro, which is Mizzou's version of Panera Bread. Then I grabbed some Starbucks and started reading the textbook for my newsroom class, which always takes forever. My professor just assigned way too much homework. After making some progress with that, I head to Middlebush for my art history class. Honestly, I wasn't expecting to love this class as much as I do, but my professor is just amazing. He's super passionate about photography and it's, it's so wholesome. For this lecture, we discuss the readings over images and ideology and analyze Dorothea Lange's Migrant Mother, which is an iconic photo from the Great Depression era. With that being the last class of the day, I head back to my apartment and continue doing my readings for my newsroom class. Fast forward four hours and I'm still not done but I promised I'd grab dinner at the sorority house. So I meet up with Faith and eat some delicious chicken and potatoes before walking to the Missouri Feeder for RAM Speaker Night. RAM stands for Rocking Against Multiple Sclerosis, which is a competition between all the Greek houses to raise money for MS. Last year, we got second place, so this year we're going for first. But naturally, it's starting to pour on our way there. And 15 minutes later, we finally make it. Soon after we sat down, speakers night began, and three different guests came out to talk to us about their experience with MS. Honestly, the presentation was 
really moving, and I'm glad that we braved the weather to get there. By the time I got home though, the weather had started to get way, way worse, and while I was finishing my newsroom readings, it began to sleet. After that, I took a quick quiz over the articles I had just read, and then I decided to call it a night. When I woke up, I was met with a winter wonderland outside my window. I honestly could have watched the snowfall all day, but unfortunately, I had to get to my Spanish class. I hopped on Zoom for class, and we learned more about subjunctive verbs and emotion. Our professor also decided to end class early because some of the examples he wanted to wait to teach in person. After that, I grabbed a quick breakfast and went through my emails before starting my statistics lecture. My statistics class is completely online, but there are certain deadlines I have to meet. For the first lecture of the week, we discussed how to get a good sample for a survey. Once I finished that, I grabbed some lunch and start watching All of Us Are Dead, which is a Korean Netflix show about a zombie outbreak in a high school. To be honest, I was a little confused at the beginning, but I'm definitely intrigued. After that, I do my Spanish homework over the concepts we discussed during our Zoom. And then, it's time for my newsroom class. Normally, I would go to Mizzou's newsroom and work on a story for four hours, but because we're online, it's hard to do much. We always start off class by discussing stories we saw in the local newspapers and what we liked or disliked about the articles. Usually, our critiques take a while because almost everyone has something they want to add to the conversation. When we're done with that, we divide into our teams and start pitching our story ideas. Our beat is college political organizations, which basically means all of our stories focus solely on these groups. For our first story, we decided to do an article about the differences between college Democrats and college socialists, and common misconceptions people have about them. Once we finalize our story idea, I get ready to go out into the cold and walk to the dorm next door to visit Joey. I had never been in her room before, and oh my gosh, it was so cute. I never really decorated my dorm much when I was a freshman, so it was fun to look around and see all the decorations she had. Then, we decided to make some hot chocolate before heading out for a walk around campus. First, we headed to Jesse Hall, which looked absolutely amazing, before walking to the columns to see if anyone was out in the snow. Lucky for us, we got to visit with some dogs! They were having a great time running around and playing with each other. Once we said goodbye to the dogs, we headed back past the columns and Jesse Hall and walked over to Memorial before heading to Plaza 900 to grab their customizable Indian bowls, which are extremely good. Highly recommend. After that, we decided we were still hungry, so we headed to Southwest to grab Truffles, which is one of the bakeries on campus. Once we'd gotten our snacks, we went past Greek Town and back to my apartment, and I took notes over my art history readings, which were about what makes an image iconic. Then, we headed back to the columns for a snowball fight, which was super fun. I tried to stay out of the fray, but I ended up getting hit a couple of times. Once I got back to my apartment, I decided to hit the gym for a little bit to do some cardio and weights, but I was quickly interrupted by my friends, who were having a fun night to say the least. And I decided to join them, so we headed over to our friend's dorm. <laughs> Right when we got there though, we realized we were starving, so Alex and I headed to the Mizzou Market for a late night snack run. With the snacks secured, we went back to play in the snow a little more. Cause girl, you're amazing! I need more. Just the way you are! After a couple hours, I decide to head back to my apartment and call it a night. When I woke up, it was snowing only a little bit, but it was still way too cold for the snow to be melting, so I'm glad I didn't have to go to in-person classes. For breakfast, I decide to make some cinnamon rolls, which are currently my absolute favorite breakfast food. And then, I head to my art history zoom, 
where we discuss the readings over image icons and also analyze Jeff Widener's Take Man, which is an iconic photo from the Tiananmen Square Massacre. After that, I look over my Spanish textbook and the section over subjunctive verbs with doubt, disbelief, and denial, which we're going to be talking about in class tomorrow. Then I read how to write about art for my art history discussion tomorrow. Suddenly, I get an email from a zoo informing us that we're having another snow day tomorrow. To celebrate the news, my friends and I head to Pi Kappa Phi, aka Pi Cap, aka our favorite frat, to go sledding in their backyard. After that, I decided to brave the roads, which hadn't been cleared yet, and go to Freddy's with my little Ella. Totally worth it. Once I got back to my apartment, I continued reading from my art history textbook, but by that time, I was super tired, so I just decided to call it a night. When I woke up, I noticed it was finally sunny outside. It felt like it had been ages since the sky had been blue. Naturally, I overslept though, so I barely made it to my Spanish Zoom on time. Today, we went over subjunctive verbs with doubt, disbelief, and denial, which was already pretty familiar because I read the textbook. After class, I quickly finished reading my art history textbook before going to my art history discussion, where we basically just reviewed everything we had learned during class and in our readings this week. By the time that was over, I grabbed some lunch and watched more of All of Us Are Dead, which was starting to get really interesting. But unfortunately, I needed to watch and take notes over my second statistics lecture, which continued to discuss how to take a good sample. Next, I took the weekly art history quiz, which I got 100% on. Go me! Once I finished that, I decided to go on a walk to Southwest to grab a strawberry lemonade smoothie, which was super delicious. Totally worth it. With my little break complete, I headed back to my apartment to write a short analysis essay for my art history class. This week, we're writing about Timothy O'Sullivan's Ancient Ruins. Once I submitted that, I grabbed an Easy Mac for dinner and continued watching All of Us Are Dead, which I highly recommend at this point. It started off pretty slow, but wow, did it get good real quick. After that, I decided to just relax for the evening and play Genshin Impact, which is currently my favorite video game. Between the characters and the storyline, the game always has something new to offer. I've been playing for over a year and I'm still low-key obsessed. Tonight, I'm playing the newest quest in the game, The Crane Returns on the Wind. I got about halfway through the storyline before I decided to call it an early night. This morning, I had to wake up at 7 a.m. because in just a couple of hours, I'm running in the Rams 5K. So I grab my number and put on my cozy racing gear before heading over to Traditions Plaza for the start of the race. It takes about 20 minutes for us to get checked in, but while we're waiting, Ella goes and grabs us bagels from the Panera bread that they catered for us. Unfortunately, we got there way, way, way too early. So we do whatever it takes to stay warm because, oh my God, it was freezing. Fast forward 45 minutes and it was finally time for the race to start, so cue the racing montage. To celebrate, we grabbed some Starbucks and went back to my apartment to eat some pizza and watch Titanic, aka the best movie of all time. After Ella leaves, I do my Spanish homework over what we discussed in class yesterday. 
Next, I worked on my statistics homework, which was really hard for absolutely no reason. Like, apparently I'm just really bad at math or something. After that, I read the section of the statistics textbook we're going to learn about Monday. This chapter focuses on experiments in observational studies, which thankfully isn't too complicated. For dinner, Joey and I decide to get Raisin Cane's, which is our favorite fast food place. Then it's time for Pie Cap's party, so I get all dressed up and head over to their house. <laughs> end up leaving around 2 a.m. so the streets are completely empty but we make it back to my apartment safe and sound. While I was taking a shower Ella decided to make some cookies but she ended up falling asleep before we could eat them so I decided to save them for tomorrow and call it a night. Ella and I didn't wake up until noon, so we decided to grab a late breakfast at Dunkin' Donuts. We got the goods. This is so good. <laughs> After I drop Ella off, I finish reading my statistics textbook, which means that I'm completely done with my homework for the week. Now, I get to spend the rest of the day relaxing. First, I decide to watch some Olympic figure skating. The team event was going on when I was watching, so I got to see the men's program and ice dance performances. Then, I decided to play a little Genshin Impact before going out to dinner with my parents. We decided to go to Olive Garden, and I got my usual order of mozzarella sticks and spaghetti. Gotta love some family bonding over some pasta. The second I got home, I grabbed my leftover Dunkin' Donuts and put on the new episode of Euphoria. This week's episode had my roommates and I Shook to say the least. Once we were done at being emotionally scarred, I decided to finish the Genshin Impact quest I had started previously before calling it a night. It was the end of one week and time for the start of another. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, please consider liking it. And if you want to see more content like this in the future, please consider subscribing as well. With that all being said, I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.